Hi there. Uh, my name is Ben Roberts. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Uh, you know everybody? I'm a member of MoveOn.org, yeah. Action, and a Newtown resident. So thank you all for coming out on this rainy day. It's great to see you. Go Newtown. We're all here outside Nancy Johnson's office. Ooh. Tell Johnson she's been caught red-handed. Yeah. As these gloves symbolize. There you go. Taking Whoa. big checks. Uh -huh. From the pharmaceutical industry. Ah. To the tune of $670,730 over the past five election cycles. The second largest amount of any member of Congress, according to the Center for Responsive Politics, which resulted in support for a corrupt Medicare bill. We're also standing with Move On members around the country today to make sure that in an election year, Americans understand what Republican leaders' priorities are. We're going to talk briefly about what's at stake in the fight over Medicare and the importance of the program, and then we will hand deliver petitions straight to Johnson's empty office. <laughs> Don't vote for Nancy Johnson. <laughs> this giant check illustrates how big drug companies have spent millions of dollars in campaign contributions across the country and $670,730 right here in our district to push a Medicare drug program through Congress place the profits of drug and insurance industry over the needs of American seniors. With massive campaign donations, donations like these, Republicans in Congress are only too happy to apply to the industry. The program is costly. The government is forbidden to use its free market negotiating power to lower costs, so seniors pay more. The VA, which does negotiate its prices, pays an average of 48% less than seniors in the government will under the new plan. As a result, big drug companies, already among the most profitable in the world, rake in an estimated $325 billion in additional profit over the next 10 years. It's controlling. Drug companies can switch the drugs covered on a plan at will, The seniors are locked in to single plans for up to a year at a time, whether or not they're getting the drugs they need. It's confusing because Medicare is forbidden to offer the drugs directly, seniors are bombarded with hundreds of different private programs and mountains of fine print. In just four days, President Bush and Congressional Republicans are going to subject millions of unenrolled seniors to a senior tax, a heavy, permanent penalty if they fail to sign up for the program by May 15th. The deadline set is to corral seniors into the corrupt program and maximize industry profits. We're here to tell Representative Johnson to stand up to the big drug companies, cancel the May 15th penalty, and fix the Medicare drug program so it puts seniors above corporate profit. It's important to remember this corrupt program hurts real people here in our community, as well as taxpayers across the nation who will be forced to foot the bill for the drug companies' exorbitant profits. Earlier this week, members in our district signed a petition to Representative Johnson urging her to cancel the senior tax deadline and protect Medicare. Let's read a few of the statements from this petition about how the changes in Medicare will affect the lives of many who live right here in the Danbury area. I just want to read something highlighted on the page and then pass it on to the next person. Uh, my parents received a letter stating that they were signed up, and when they went to the pharmacy, they waited 90 minutes to find out that their account was not activated. In their 80s, the trip to the pharmacy was a big job. They had to return home, and I was able to call and straighten out the problem, but not all seniors have an advocate to sort things out for them. The system is complex and frightening to many seniors. They must have more time to sort out these issues and more help and clarification to make the right choice. <laughs> Representative Johnson, the Medicare Prescription Drug Program is an example of what we get when we allow the fox to guard the hen house. Why can't drugs here cost about the same as in Canada instead of two to three times as much? This is the most confusing and insulting plan I've ever seen. Please stop thinking only of yourselves and begin to really help senior citizens. Cancel this May 15th deadline. The system is much too complicated and needs more time to iron some of the, iron some of the difficulties. Threatening older citizens is not the way to commit. For people who suffer from chronic illnesses that require ongoing medication, the current plan offers only a donut hole, not a solution to the high medicine costs they incur. We need to fix Medicare Part D, not inflict further hardship on recipients. I am one of the seniors being held hostage for the Medicare plan, the prescription drug plan. I went online in January and again in May and found my estimated drug costs that increased by 50% in four months. I didn't sign up just to avoid being penalized. 
pharma and insurance companies have us over a barrel. I was told by the advisors and the choice and Medicare hotlines that everyone calling in is complaining and that they themselves feel the program is exploited, exploited and unfair. As a senior who has refused to legitimize this fraud on for one of the false choices, I strongly object to being penalized for my good sense. Change the law so that I may make a reasonable choice of drug coverage. Yes. So you can see the importance these programs have in our community alone. Millions of seniors will be subject to the penalties come Monday. This is not right. So today, we're calling on Representative Johnson to say no to the big drug companies. Ready? To protect Americans instead of big drug company profits. More. To cancel the May 15th senior tax deadline. Yeah! All right. Good. And to fix Medicare for the millions of seniors who rely on the program. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't just rip up the influence big drug companies have in Washington quite yet. But we can call on Representative Johnson to do the right thing or vote her out of office if she won't. And we aren't alone. Move on members are gathering across the country today outside the offices of other key members of Congress to deliver petitions. It's in the power of ordinary people speaking their minds and petition signatures and in person that makes this a fight we can win. But this is also about more than just Medicare. This is just one more case of President Bush and his Republican leadership hurting ordinary Americans while they hand out favors to their well-connected supporters.